My house looks so good this time of day. I wish I could just- What the f***? Where did the floor just go? What is going on? I'm gonna die to the void. What the heck just happened? I just lost my whole base. Hey, you, Evbo, do you know what just happened? Uh, I don't think so. What even happened? What do you mean, what even happened? Did you not just see that? The whole earth just disappeared. Oh, yeah, that was my bad. I have the earthquake power, so I must have accidentally destroyed your house. Earthquake power? What are you talking about? Dude, have you not seen the new update? New update? No. You can unlock crazy powers now. Just press X to look at them. Welcome, player. Select your power. What? Evbo wasn't lying. This is crazy. I gotta find the best power there is. And this first one doesn't seem that great. Now what's this? The building power? You can build anything that your heart desires? Uh, that seems pretty unbalanced. I gotta try it out. Power selected. Okay, how do I do this? Do I just say it? Uh, build a house. Did that work? I don't see anything. No way. It actually worked. This is crazy. Uh, uh build a mansion. Oh my god, this is so broken. I need to show Evbo. No way he has a power better than this one. Hey Evbo, I checked out those powers you were talking about, and I think I have one that's better than yours. Really? What power do you have? Just name anything that you want me to build. Uh, okay. Can you build a castle? Can I? Of course I can. Build a castle. That building is too big. You need to upgrade your power. What? Too big? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, you have the building power. Yeah, I already maxed that one out. Here, I'll show you. Build a castle. What the heck? This castle's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Next time, come back to me with a power that's actually cool. Fine, I'll listen to you. How about that? I'm gonna find the coolest power there is. Okay, not the speed power, not the building power. What else is there? And resistance? That could be helpful, but I don't think that would impress Evbo. Ooh, what's this? The vampire power? You can control any mob and make them do whatever you want? That sounds crazy good. Power selected. So how do I select a mob to mind control? Do I just like stare at them? Hey sheep, go complete that parkour course. No way. The sheep is actually doing parkour, and that course is super hard. This power is crazy. I need to take full advantage of this. I gotta find a village. Okay, here we go. Time to make all of these villagers work for me. Hey farmer, make a huge field and give me all the crops. Mr. Blacksmith, I want you to go mining and don't come back until you have stacks of diamonds. Okay, keep it coming, keep it coming. I want all of your loot. Here's your emerald, sir. I've been working in the club all day. Is there any way I can get a break? Hey, you know the rule. No breaks allowed. Get back to work. Next! Okay, Mr. Cartographer, what kind of map do you have for me today? This map has been passed down for many generations. It is very important that you follow it. Oh, wow. This does look really important. I mean, if it's been passed down for generations, everybody should definitely follow it. Next! This armor is fully enchanted with protection 4 and unbreaking 2. It took me weeks to make this. Did you just say unbreaking 2? Uh, yeah. Is there a problem? Unbreaking 2. Did I hear that correctly? Are you serious? Go back and get me unbreaking 3. What were you thinking? Uh, yes. Yes, master. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Oh my gosh, some people. Oh, Evbo, what's up? What are you doing to these villagers? I'm just making them work for me. It's pretty easy when you have the vampire power. Oh, you're using the vampire power? That makes a lot more sense. I used to use that power, but it's kind of unethical. I just use the magic power now. The magic power? What's that? Basically, you could put any item into a chest and then turn it into something else. Here, I'll show you. See, I have a stack of dirt in this chest. When I say turn this into diamonds, it turns into diamonds, just like that. What? That seems totally broken. That's literally just creative mode. Not exactly. Creative mode is actually a power itself, but it's the hardest power to get in the entire game. In order to unlock it, you have to beat Minecraft with every other power. In total, you would have to beat the game 12,000 times. 12? Thousand? That's not possible. <laughs> yeah, especially for you. I mean, have you even beat Minecraft once? Wow, so it's like that still. And for your information, I have beaten Minecraft. <laughs> sure you have, buddy. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm pretty close to getting creative mode myself. What a jerk. I'm gonna show him up. I'm gonna be the first player ever to get the creative mode power. I better get started. For the next five months, I only left my computer to go to sleep and to get food. I played Minecraft for 15 hours every day and was determined to unlock every power to eventually get creative mode. 
After grinding Minecraft for an inhumane amount of time, I finally got the creative mode power. Hey, Evmo, guess what I have? Let me guess. You have another stupid power that you want to show me. Eh, not exactly. I actually have the best power in the whole game. Creative mode? Yeah, right. Prove it then. Does this prove it? What? You actually have creative mode. How did you get that? You'd have to play Minecraft literally every day. Well, joke's on you. I have absolutely no life. Dude, I can't let you have creative mode on my server. That's totally unfair. I'm gonna have to ban you. Ban me? What? I didn't even know this was your server. What? Wait, why did he do that? Oh my god, I just wasted five months of my life. I knew I should have played Roblox instead. Oh, it's so good to be back. I haven't played this game in years. I'll just create a quick survival world and see what's new. Oh, sick, they have a new loading screen too. I kind of like that. Wow, this is a really strange spawn. Wait, I can't even move. What is this? Select your character. What? Who said that? I thought this was single player. Select your character. Uh, human? I don't know. I just want to go to my world. Human is currently locked. If you want to unlock it, play through other characters. Are you kidding me? It's locked? What does that even mean? I just want to play Minecraft. Select your character. Dude, shut up. Fine, I'll select Villager. I don't care. That's close to human. Villager is currently locked. If you want to unlock it, play through other characters. What? Okay, what isn't locked? Chicken is currently unlocked. Chicken? Are you serious? Okay, whatever. I'll play as a chicken. Chicken selected. Please select your spawn area. Uh, Earth? I don't know. What are the spawn areas? Invalid spawn area. What? Select from the following list. Plains. Forest. Savanna. Swamp. Mountains. Jungle. Okay, okay, um, how about, uh, planes? That sounds easy enough. Spawn area selected. Loading map. Finally, I can start playing the actual game. Hello, fellow chickens. I'm glad you joined the chicken army. Together, we will- What is this? A cutscene? Skip! I'm pressing skip. Just skip the cutscene. I don't care. Finally. Okay, please. No more cutscenes. Jeez, where am I? Oh, am I in that stupid barn the guy was talking about? Shoot, that would make sense. New quest. Talk to the chicken leader. Quests? What? What have I missed? Since when was there ever quests in Minecraft? Whatever, I just need to beat this game as a chicken and then I can play for real as a human. It shouldn't be that hard. This guy is probably the chicken leader. Hello and welcome to the barn. We've been expecting you. To prove yourself, bring me 10 wheat seeds. Good luck. New quest. Collect 10 wheat seeds. Okay, well this shouldn't be too hard. I just have to break wheat, right? And there's like a million pieces right there. What the heck? I've been breaking wheat for 10 minutes and no seeds have dropped. Am I doing something wrong? Hey dude, do you need some help? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Are you an NPC? No, I'm a regular player, just like you. Okay, whoa, wait. I thought this was my survival world. I'm so confused. How are there other players here? Whoa, calm down. Let me ask you a question. When did you stop playing Minecraft? Uh, I think I stopped playing at version 1.18. 1.18? Dude, that was 10 years ago. We're in version 2.4 right now. Everything's different. Minecraft is an MMORPG game now. There's no single player, and there's only one world, and everybody's in it. Are you kidding me? How does this game even work then? Basically, all you do is complete quests and level up your character. You can collect better items, and every character has a unique power too. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I just need to beat this class so I can unlock the human character. Do you know how I can get 10 wheat seeds? I'm really stuck on this. I'm not too sure, but I'd recommend talking to the farmer. He helped me with my quests. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you so much. That was so weird. I can't believe how much this game has changed. Only one world for everybody? Why is it like that? I think this is probably the farmer though. Hopefully I can finish this quest fast and then change to a human. Howdy, partner. What brings you here? I need to know how to get wheat seeds. Ah, uh, none of the crops at the barn drop seeds. If you wish to find wheat seeds, travel to the old barn located in the outer city. New quest. Find the old barn. Well, I guess I'm going to the old barn. Hopefully it's not too far. Please let this be the old barn. I've been walking for so long. New location found. The old barn. Yes, finally. New quest. Talk to the scientist. Let's find this guy. I'm getting really tired of being a chicken. This sucks so badly. Perfect. Here he is. Greetings. Welcome to the old barn. How can I help you? Where do you guys keep wheat seeds? If you're looking for wheat seeds, you should talk to the merchant out back. He sells them. Okay, where is this merchant? I need to get out of here. Oh wait, there's a bunch of other chickens here. Maybe they know. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Do you know where that merchant is? Yeah, he's up there. This is the end of the line. End of the line? What? How long will this take? Not too long. Maybe five or ten minutes. 
This was way longer than 10 minutes. At least I'm finally at the front of the line. Alrighty, folks, we are sold out. Come back tomorrow for more goods. No, are you kidding me? Are you open yet? I've been waiting here all night. Hello, what do you want to trade for? Finally, I really need 10 wheat seeds. For 10 wheat seeds, what can you offer me? Uh, I have to give you something? Uh, I can give you some feathers and an egg. Deal. Thanks for doing business. Yes, finally. I have 10 wheat seeds. I gotta get back to the barn. Here it is. I can't wait to finish this quest. Hello, chicken leader. Here are the 10 seeds that you've requested. Quest complete. New character unlocked. New character? Yes! I can play as the human now. Screw being a chicken. I'm out of here. Oh, I can't wait to play as a player. That's literally all I've wanted. Select your character. Human. Human is currently locked. You must play through all other characters to unlock human. What? I have to play through all other characters? You didn't say that last time. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do anymore. I wish there was some way I could just skip playing the other characters. Reminder, New Year's sale is still active. All characters are 50% off. Whoa, 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 wait. New Year's sale? You can just buy characters? How much does a human cost? Unlocking the human character costs $49.99. Huh, $50. Well, it's either that or I play through all the other characters. I guess I have the human character unlocked now. Select your character. Human. Human character selected. Select your skin. Eh, this one's kind of boring. Next. I'm Batman. Nah, too dark. Next. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Eh, a little too colorful. Skip. I can do this all day. I like Iron Man better. Skip. After I got abducted- Skip! Minecraft to build battle. Two boys. Oh, this guy seems super annoying, but I like his skin. I guess I'll select him. Skin selected. Loading world. Let's go! I'm gonna play as a human instead of a dumb chicken. I can't wait to get started. Yes, I made it! This is so sick. It looks like I spawned in some sort of village. New quest. Talk to the city mayor. Let me talk to the mayor. Welcome, citizen. We seem to be having a monster problem outside the city walls. Take this sword and kill 10 zombies. New quest. Kill 10 zombies. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Zombies are super easy to kill. Maybe if I can just find where the zombies are spawning, I'll be able to stop them from coming back. Yeah, it looks like they're spawning from that mineshaft. I'm gonna go check it out. Yo, dude, are you doing this dungeon too? Uh, what? This is a dungeon? Yeah, it's a zombie dungeon. Tier 4. Uh, yeah, totally. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Say, why do you guys have the word pro after your name? Oh, that's our guild. We call ourselves the Pro Squad. I'm a level 46 paladin class hybrid warrior with boosted intelligence stats. MC Master 690 is our long range person. He's a level 39 archer and sorcerer main. Finally, Noob Killer 12 is a level 33 rogue class and assassin main with speed traits. Oh, I totally understood everything you just said. Oh, what level are you? Uh, level, level. How do you check that again? <laughs> it's just your XP bar. What does it say? Oh, um, level 20. Yeah, I'm level 20. Oh, you're still pretty new to the game. You should definitely do this dungeon with us. If we make it out alive, maybe you can even join the guild. Heck yeah, dude. That sounds like a plan. Sick. Okay, I've never done one with these four people. Let's try to break my fastest dungeon time of two hours and 15 minutes. Two hours? Isn't a dungeon just like one zombie spawner? <laughs> Funny joke, man. I like the humor. Keep it up, and you'll be in the guild in no time. Um, it wasn't a joke. What am I getting myself into? Okay, everybody. You know the plan. One emergency ender pearl per person. This is a tier 4 mineshaft dungeon, which means there are four different pathways. Since we're going to for a timed run, we're gonna have to split up. Hey, you. You should probably take the south tunnel. It's usually the easiest. Are you sure we shouldn't just stick together, though? That sounds a lot safer. Nah, no can do. This is a timed run. If you need help, you can always come back to the center of the dungeon. Zombies don't spawn here. Dungeon starting in 3, 2, 1, fight! Dungeon quest. Kill the zombie king and retrieve his head. Well, I guess I'm doing this tunnel alone. Oh. My. Gosh. I'm so gonna die. There are hundreds of zombies here. And isn't there only one zombie king per dungeon? I thought my tunnel was supposed to be the easiest. This is not gonna happen. I'm going back with the other guys. Wait, what? The iron bars went back down. That guy lied to me. This is not gonna end well. This room is full of lava too. Actually, maybe I can use this lava to my advantage. If I hit the zombies off this platform, I won't have to actually fight them. I think that might be the play. Yo, my plan is actually working. I just have to kill these last two zombies and then there's just the zombie king. Okay, let's see what this guy is all about. 
Oh shoot, this guy hits hard. He doesn't take knockback either. I won't be able to hit him into the lava. Wait, I have an idea. If I can get him to follow me, I can jump into the lava and then ender pearl back onto the platform, leaving him to die in the lava. It's a long shot, but I might as well try. Okay, okay, yeah. Come over here, big guy. And here goes nothing. Yo, that worked! And there's water here too, I'm not gonna die to fire damage. Yo, the zombie head, it's right here! Dungeon quest completed. Zombie king slain. Teleporting out of dungeon. I actually did that all on my own. I didn't even need that stupid guild after all. Yo, dude, did you finish the dungeon by yourself? Yep, I did it all on my own. I didn't even need your stupid help anyways. Stupid help? I just invited you to join the guild. You're a great player. No, no, you're lying. You left me to die in there. The iron bars went back down. But if there's one thing that I've learned about this game- Wait, that you dude, there's a- Uh, please, can you not interrupt me? I'm giving a victory speech. Back to where I was. If there's one thing that I've learned- it's I that don't you want to cut you off, but there's literally a- Please, dude, I'm trying to talk here. I just beat this whole dungeon by myself. Give me some credit. My point is that it's a- Shut up for one time. second. There's something behind you. Oh yeah? Well, what is it? There's literally a creeper right behind you. What? <laughs> Are you f kidding me? Well, that was really unfortunate. At least I know what I'm doing now. Select your character. Human. Human is currently locked. If you die in a character, your game progress restarts. Chicken is your only available character. What? Are you serious? This game is so trash. I'm going back to Fortnite. Ah, uh, what a long day in the mines. Gamer boy, what are you doing here? Oh, don't worry about it. What the heck? Where are you- What? What happened here? Looks normal to me. Dude, what are you doing? Sorry, dude. I'm the griefer stereotype. I have to do this. You literally don't have to. Just don't press the lever. My dog is in here. Hmm, sorry. Oh my god. Did Gamer Boy blow up your house too? Yeah, I can't believe he did that. He killed my dog too. I need to get revenge on him. If you want any chance, you'll need to select stereotype. Press F8. F8? What is that? What? This is a real thing? This is crazy. Okay, I really need to find a stereotype that will help me kill Gamer Boy. Oh, this one seems perfect. Gamer Boy will stand no chance. Fighter stereotype selected. Loading world. Yo, this is sick. I already have full diamond armor and all of these weapons? Now, I just need to find Gamer Boy. Oh, come on, lassie. Come Yo, on, come what on. is this? Yes. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm the cowboy stereotype. I just found the fastest horse. Boring. Man, this is a fast horse. I'll find Gamer Boy in no time. Oh, a gunpowder farm. I think I'm close. I feel like this is definitely his house. Oh, Joofy Looby. I've been expecting you. After all, I did kill your dog. Are you serious? You wanna go, bro? What? How'd you do that? Ha. Wait, wait, what? Why can't I break this? Fighter stereotypes cannot break any blocks. What? How is that possible? Did you not even check your stereotype description? What a loser. See ya. What? What? I can't even get out of here. Are you serious? Oh my god, this is so annoying. I need a new stereotype. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to read the pros and cons now. Let's see, it looks like this one is called the Animal Tamer Stereotype. Oh, what? It doesn't even have any cons. This sounds great. Animal Tamer selected. Loading world. Okay, so I can tame any mob? What if I tame the Ender Dragon? I gotta check that out. Uh, who are you? Oh, hey there. I'm a top-level animal trainer. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I was wondering how I could tame the Ender Dragon. How do you do that? Oh, yeah. The Ender Dragon is pretty cool and all, but I know a way to tame even better dragons. You can download the mobile game Dragon City. Dragon City? What's that? Dragon City is a free-to-play game where you can collect thousands of dragons with different elements and rarities to create your very own dragon empire. You'll need to grow food, earn gold, and find gems to grow and strengthen your Dragon City. To help you out, I'm giving you 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and a super rare Elder Mountain Dragon all for free. All you have to do is download the game by scanning this QR code or clicking the link in the description. What? That sounds so cool! What can you do with the dragons? After you train up and evolve your dragons, you can teach them new attacks and take part in PvP battles with other dragon masters. You can even join forces with others to create an alliance and work together to unlock epic rewards. That sounds awesome! Okay, now that I have my own dragon army, Gamer Boy has no chance. Hey, Gamer Boy, come on out! You stand no chance against my army of dragons. Army of dragons? Oh. What army? What army? Do you not see all these dragons behind- What? How did you just do that? Admit it, Joofy. You can't beat me. 
Oh my god, what? I hate this guy so much. This is so annoying. There must be some stereotype that will help me kill Gamer Boy. Okay, this archer stereotype seems really good. I think I've got him with this one. Okay, there he is. With this power five bow, I should be able to one-shot him. What? Where did he go? <laughs> Always one step behind me. What? How'd you get there? What, what? What? Okay, this potion master stereotype sounds really promising. I think this one will work a lot better than last time. I'm currently standing in Gamer Boy's house with an invisibility potion. If I can get close enough, I can splash him with instant harming and kill him. Ha! Didn't you know I can hear you talking? Besides, I already knew you were coming back. What? What kind of armor are you putting on? Oh, this is Splash Protection 4. I want to make sure only you died to this. Um, what? What did all this- Okay, no chance Gamer Boy can kill me with this stereotype. I literally have resistance 4. That's like impossible to beat. Okay, a sharpness 5 diamond sword. All I have to do is hit Gamer Boy one time with this and he'll die for sure. Oh my god, there he is. Oh, Juvie, you're looking a little slow. You might not see the lava pool right in front of you. You can't kill me anymore. I have resistance. Oh, well, if lava won't do it, Surely TNT will. Nope, that still doesn't do it. I told you, you can't kill me. This is it, Gamer Boy. You can't run anymore. I have you cornered. What are your final words? <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down? What? See you in the next life. What? 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 How do you keep killing me? What is going on? This is so stupid. Gamer Boy is so annoying. Still can't kill Gamer Boy, huh? Yeah, this guy always seems to be one step ahead of me. You should look for the server owner stereotype. It's super overpowered. Uh, okay. No, not this one. And not this one either. Oh, this is it. I get op on the server? That's so good. I have to choose this. Server owner selected. Loading world. Wait, so does this mean I can just go into creative mode? Oh my god, I can literally do whatever I want. This is gonna be so good. What's up, gamer boy? Oh, Juffy, there you are. You took longer than I expected. Anyways, prepare to die. Hmm, good try, but I don't think that'll work anymore. How, how did you do that? Eh, it's the server owner stereotype. See ya, dude. What? Finally, he's gone from the server. Gamer boy's gone? I think that's what he said. Yeah, I think this is for real, guys. You heard me correctly, guys. Gamer Boy is officially gone. No yes. way. Ooh, I can't go believe goofy. it. For getting rid of Gamer Boy, we are electing you president of the server. We trust you to keep us safe. And in exchange, we have built you a presidential mansion. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. My work here is finally done. I've finally gotten rid of Gamer Boy. It's time to take a break from this game. Doofy thought he really got rid of me. We'll see how he deals with this stereotype. Hacker stereotype selected. Loading world. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Doofy, it's good to see you again. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll make this nice and painless. Doofy, what are you doing? I'm taking back what's mine. All right, it's time to check up on my favorite server. What the heck? What happened here? What are these guys doing in cages? Evbo, what happened to you? Please stop messing with us. Just let us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. How'd you get trapped here in the first place? Wait, you're actually letting us go? What happened to you talking about wanting to burn down the world? What are you talking about? I never said that. I think I know what's going on. There's a stereotype called hacker where you can play on any person's account. I think Gamer Boy chose that stereotype and logged on as Juffy's player. What? That seems so broken. How can we stop him? We need to somehow get him to log in as another player. Then we can ban him forever. Well, how are we going to do that? I think I have an idea. Dude, I don't want to do this. Look, do you want to ban Gamer Boy or not? Uh... I guess I do. Good, then put on the costume. Okay, back on the server. Let's check up on the prisoners. Yo, is that a girl? Oh, hey there, how's it going? I've never seen one before. Hey, you should totally change to a different skin. I don't really like that one. Oh, sure, whatever you say. Okay, let's hope he changes accounts. Okay, I'm on a new account. Where'd you go? Okay, Juffy, he's off your account. Ban him forever. Okay, let's get him. What? Yes, it worked! Everybody, I am so excited to announce that Gamer Boy is officially banned. Hey, Juffy, make sure to get your free food and gold when you download Dragon City from the link in the description. Oh, gotcha, dude. I almost forgot.